City's news tonight. Appleton has begun a citywide cleanup in the wake of those strong storms that took out power and took down trees earlier this month. Local 5's Paul Evenson has more on the city's efforts. City crews have been hard at work here since early this morning, trying to remove debris from the storms that ripped through this area just over a week ago. Street cameras captured the moment when violent winds took down trees and caused widespread damage throughout the city. Today, crews with the Department of Public Works took to the streets to begin a special citywide sweep of debris collection. Each crew has a defined area that they're working in and they're going down every single street and looking for piles and once they're done with one area, they'll move on to the next area and we'll keep doing that until, we, until we're completed. City residents were asked to have debris street side by Sunday evening in advance of today's cleanup. Large trees needed to be cut into eight foot lengths while smaller brush needed to be bundled in piles weighing less than 45 pounds each. Large front end loaders with claw buckets are now going street to street, picking up those debris piles and loading them into the back end of waiting trucks. We've used it for cleanup in other storms in the past. It's a very efficient way for us to remove the debris off of the streets and load it into the trucks. The city has six different crews working in different areas throughout Appleton, and they hope to have the majority of debris collected within the next two weeks. Reporting in Appleton, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News. And yard debris can be taken directly to one of two yard waste facilities in the city. One is at 2625 East Glendale Avenue and also at 701 South Whitman Avenue.